everyone, I'm Veronica and in today's video I'll be showing you how you can create a magazine cutout letter intro just like this one. On the Filmstock website you will find three packs that match this theme. The Ransom Note Alphabet Pack which contains 36 elements. The Retro Collage Pack, which contains 17 elements and 3 overlays. And the Collage Letters Pack, which contains 26 elements. So now let's have a look at how you can put together an intro like this in the Wondershare Filmora video editor. Here we are in the video editor and we're going to start by using one of the elements from the Retro Collage Pack as our background. A lot of these elements have animations, so if you want to preview them, you simply have to double click on the preview and you get a playback here on the right. Once you've chosen your background, you simply have to click and drag it over to your timeline. Now you don't have to use the backgrounds from the retro collage pack, you can literally use anything you want to put your letters over. You can adjust the length of the element by clicking and dragging the sides on the timeline. Unfortunately, you can't make it any longer than it is by default. The next step would be to add your letters. Or if we head over to the effects tab, you can also use some of these overlays from the retro collage pack. For example, this one right here. So I'm going to click and drag it onto my timeline on top of the element that we already have here. And with overlays, you can actually drag them out to be a lot longer than they are by default. Now let's add the letters. You can find all of the letters in the elements tab. Here are the ones from the collage letters pack. So with this pack you get the whole alphabet. And in the ransom note alphabet pack you get the whole alphabet as well as some numbers as well. I'm going to use the collage letters pack. Using these letters I'm going to spell the word intro. I'm going to click and drag the first letter onto the timeline and I'm going to double click on it on the timeline in order to resize it. So you can either use the transform tab on the left side to resize it and position it or you can use the preview so you are free to drag it around on the preview as well as use the dots around it to move the letter around and you can use the dot at the top to rotate it as well. Now let's add the rest of the letters. You have to add each letter on top of the previous one and just as before you can click on them and resize them in order to spell your word. In order to make it easier for you to move your letters around on the timeline, you simply have to click and drag a box over the letters to select them and then right click and click on group. This will create the group from the letters so they'll automatically be moved all together. So that's what our title looks like right now. You can also make the letters appear one by one by staggering when they appear. So I'm going to ungroup them for now and just move them slightly over by one frame just like this and make them all finish at the same time. So now when they appear, we get this sort of effect. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you found it useful and I gave you some ideas on how to use the magazine cutout letters in your own videos. If you are interested in any of the packs, there will be links to them in the description below, so go ahead and check them out. Also, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Filmstock channel so that you never miss any of the future uploads. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Bye.